Alright, welcome back. Now in this part of the tutorial we're going to go ahead and finish installing our lamp stack. Now don't be alarmed if your Ubuntu does not look like mine. I'm using the KDE desktop manager. I prefer it. Um, you're probably using GNOME. That's your choice. <clears throat> but the instructions should be the same here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open up our terminal. So just Alt plus F2 and GNOME terminal. Make mine a little bigger here. All right. Now what we're going to do is start off by installing the task cell product for Ubuntu. So we're going to do sudo apt git install task cell. Enter our password. And what this is doing for those of you who don't know, sudo allows us to run something as if we were the super user. So this basically tells the operating system that we're authorized to make system-wide changes, which is exactly what this tool does. And we're going to use this task cell tool to go ahead and install our LAMP server, as you'll see in a moment. Now go ahead and run sudo task cell install lamp hyphen server. That will bring us into the installation screen for task cell. Now pretty much the only thing that requires your input in any of this is the MySQL root user password. That should pop up here in just a second. And there it is. Make sure you enter your password twice. And make sure you remember what you enter. You will need to enter this later and whenever you're using your MySQL server. You can always change it later, but it's a lot easier if you know it from the beginning. Go ahead and let that finish. All right, as you can see, our installation is done. The first thing we're going to do here is just go ahead and restart Apache. So we're going to do sudo service. Apache 2 restart. Now if you get this message right here, Apache 2 could not reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name, etc. The easiest way to fix that is we'll go ahead and create a file. So we'll do sudo vim. Now you can use nano or emacs or whatever your choice is. And edit etsy apache2 conf.dfqdn which stands for fully qualified domain name. It is a new file. And inside, all we're going to do is type server name, localhost, and close it. Now, before I restart Apache again to show you that it worked, I also want to go ahead and enable the mod rewrite module for Apache. This is useful for things like the Zen framework and some other frameworks that require module rewriting to make the URLs uh, SEO friendly and that sort of thing. So to do that, we'll just do sudo a2nmod, which stands for Apache 2 enable module, rewrite, enter. And it's done. Now let's go ahead and restart our Apache. So we'll do service Apache 2 restart one more time. As you can see that fully qualified domain name message is gone and it restarted fine. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is test out our PHP 5 installation. Now Apache 2 when it is first installed its default directory for serving files is slash var slash www. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and change the permissions on those files so I don't have to sudo every time I write a file in there. So I'm going to run sudo chown hyphen r which stands for recursive tutorial play which is my username and then the folder and then I'm going to change the file permissions by doing sudo chmod hyphen r 775 slash var slash www. Now as we can see if we look in slash var slash www we have the permissions for tutorial play. So to test PHP installation I'm going to go ahead and run vim create a new file called info.php in our htdocs directory and inside I'm just going to run php info. Close that. I'm going to open up my browser here and we're going to run to localhost slash info.php 
As you can see, our PHP 5.3 installation is working fine. Make sure MySQL is installed here, and it is, along with the MySQL MI module. Minimize this again. Now let's go ahead and test our MySQL installation. So to do that, we're going to run MySQL user root host, localhost, prompt for password. This is going to be the password you entered while you were installing with Taskcell. All right. So let's check everything out here. We've got the MySQL database. We're going to use MySQL. Inside here, you can see we have some tables in here. Those all look good. So I'm going to change my pager real quick and make sure that our user table looks okay. I'm going to select star from user. And that all looks great. All right, so SQL is looking great. Now the last thing that we're going to do here is I'm going to install a couple of PHP modules that I find very useful that I'm using very frequently. And we're going to use these in the future probably for some tutorials. So we're going to go ahead and run sudo apt git install php5 hyphen curl and php5 hyphen x debug. Now curl lets you uh, run HTTP requests against web servers, which is great for uh, using third-party APIs. And xdebug is a great tool for debugging remotely and that sort of thing. All right, those both got installed. We can run php hyphen v, and there you can see right here it says it's running with xdebug. Everything looks great. So that's how you install a LAMP stack on Ubuntu 11.04.